Man, what up, what up, YouTube, man, we back with another video, so we ain't about to do all that yip yip yapping. Hey, we about to react to Life Lesson with Louise, teen at the ditches school and gets kidnapped. Hey, if you never, if you never, what's it called, skip school, man, your childhood was lame, son, no caps, man, but yeah, let's get into the video. I used to always skip when I had my car. I don't do that shit no more. Man, this shit still loaded. What the fuck? Come on. You're breaking out here, dude. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Gotta get to that. That look, that's not action. I don't even know. There's even no, no stuff. Hey, come on, man. Man, all these ads, dude. Dang. I don't care. What? Come on. You know, you hear me? It's, it's, it's rude to ignore people. Imagine getting kidnapped once you, you have a boyfriend. Hello, over. This school? So why we're talking here? I no, he just all on the computer. Pull over the car. Let me ask. <clears throat> Pull over. Yeah, you just gonna forget about everybody else? Hey, guys. Today's episode is sponsored by Albert, who's giving you a... Get that money, though, but... Alright. What's going on here? The perfume? Oh, well, I just, I know how hard you have it at work, so I thought I would clean up before you got back. Nigga, you better appreciate, man. My, pff, my, my mom was, no words. That's how you know she appreciated, no words. Cause soon as, everybody know when you got a black mom, bro. Why a whole shade cream? Soon as she come home from work, I gotta do everything myself. Who would appreciate that? So that silence? Psh, good. So, Dad. No. Dang. You know what? I no. hate niggas that just wear their stuff like that. You weird. Whatever it is, you're gonna. <coughs> Man, I'm gonna stop pausing. You no, know, I was gonna ask you something. Because the place is really clean and you're being nice to me. I'm always like this. So what? I can't be nice? So you weren't gonna ask me to go anywhere? Well, <laughs> exactly. No. He doesn't let me go anywhere. That's your report card? Where is it you want to go? Well, a group of friends were going to Disneyland this weekend, and my friend Christina... Who's in this group of friends? Um, right now, it's Arabella... Haley, my friend Christine, and her older sister Sarah. I'm not hearing any adult names here. Any parents involved in this? Group? If the if the people like what, 20, 21, I'd probably say nineteen to twenty. They they adults. Well, Sarah's <coughs> sixteen, so she'll be in charge. No. You're bugging. It depends what distance land it. Why not? I'm fifteen. I'll be sixteen in two weeks. Just not comfortable with no adult supervision. And there's crazy people out there. My friend's parents let them go, and they're fine. I'm not your friend's parents. Everybody did, grew up in a different household. What did you say? I said, you never let me leave the house oh, since mom passed away. I'm not a kid anymore. How dare you play the mom card? Go to your room. You can't keep me locked away forever. Get your ass to your room. Can't keep me locked away, bro. Hey, but that's true though. That's a tra tra traumatic experience for everybody. If you just keep, if you sh too strict on them, they gonna get out of. Doing, buddy. Me? Let me see my stuff up all the way. Get my stuff up all the way here. What are you doing in here? Dad, oh my God, you scared me. Why are you in Mom's restroom? And why are you wearing her makeup? Well, because I thought I'd try it on and be like. Wipe that stuff off your face. You too strict. Too. Always the nigga that's wearing V not collar shirts. Why your V go all the way down here? That's some weird stuff right there. He never lets me out. 
I swear. I feel like Rapunzel walked away in my room all day long. Why don't you just, like, do what I do and sneak out? No, I couldn't do that. Yeah, cause we... I'd be grounded for life. Dog. Where would I go anyway? <coughs> It's not like your dad don't care. What do you mean? Like, they're in school? Honey, you busy? <sighs> I'm sorry I got upset with you earlier. Ever since your mother died, I haven't been the same. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her. It was the toughest thing that ever happened to me in my life. And it can be a traumatic experience if for you. anything would have happened to you, I couldn't handle it. And I know it doesn't seem fair, but once you turn 18, you'll be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want. 18? Dad, that's not fair. And it's not fair that we lost your mother. Son, you can't even drive yet. You're not grown, dude. You're the kid. About to be 16. But anyway, the reason I'm here is we're no longer <coughs> that angry with each other. And I just wanted to say good night, and I love you. W Dad, stop playing. Big W. Fast, so. Nigga drop you by the track and field. Where the mall at? No. Oh, damn. Don't. All do hey, I don't know what she doing, but she got all that stuff because she subscribed. Stop playing. Subscribe, nigga. Nanya decided to ditch school that day. Her dad's desire to keep her locked at home all day long has caused her to rebel and want to do the complete opposite. She found the closest bus station she could find and took off to the Grove, a popular shopping center in Los Angeles. She shopped, bought some new outfits, and even watched a brand new movie. All things seemed to be going really well until she was leaving when she realized that she just missed her bus. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, we're out are you? I just missed my bus. You're fine. Just catch the next one. No, no, I can't. My dad's picking me up from school at 3.30. If I'm not there, I'm screwed. You'll be fine. No, you don't understand. My dad is extremely strict. If I'm not there on time, he'll kill me. I can give you a ride. Excuse me? Oh, I mean, only if you want. I heard you talking to your friend, and I thought I could help out. You sound like a crackhead. I was a teenager once. <laughs> A teenager once. I I don't don't sit down Come on. Um, I'll let you sit in front if you like. Dude, um, look uh, weird, bro. You don't want to be late. You're wearing a nightmare on Elman Street, bro. <clears throat> so, anyway, when my brother moved out, I, I just became self employed. I mean, you know, why work with somebody else when you can be your own boss, right? I just wish I had this mentality when I was younger because well, I would. Did you hear me? Huh? I said, how old are you? Uh, 16. I think that was my term. We just passed. What? I said, I think we just passed our term. We, we don't want to go that way. This is the shortcut. Do you have a boyfriend? Mm. <laughs> Bro, you're 16. <laughs> Hello, did you hear me? It's, it's, it's rude to ignore people. I asked, do you have a boyfriend? Can you pull over? Why? We're talking here. I said, can you pull over? Pull over the car. Let me out. Pull over the car. Okay, all right, all right. Relax. I'm pulling over. Gosh. Bye, Nadia.
where bags at? I just not know where, where her shopping bags at. You just spent buku money just to run away with no shopping bags? Man, money wasted. <clears throat> Who goes on a trip with no bag? What, what's wrong? Is she not a brat? No, no, I was just. Hello. 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 Interesting. I was just going to ask you if you and your friends wanted to go to Disneyland for the weekend. But only if I get the chaperone. I think it's really important you spend time with your friends while you're young, but I also want you to be safe. I agree, Dad. Come on, let's get out of here. All right. Why you couldn't just start there from the beginning, son? Do we hey, guys. Do you want a 16 to do all that, but man, hey, that's new age, but yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Y'all, little nigger.